You may have heard that genetics can play a role in a person developing cancer. As a result, genetic testing has emerged as a new way to identify a person's risk for bladder cancer. First, let's talk about some bladder cancer basics. The bladder is the organ where the body stores urine before it leaves the body. When cells of the bladder grow abnormally, they can convert to bladder cancer. A person with bladder cancer will have one or more tumors in his or her bladder. Most bladder cancers are found in the tissue that lines the inner surface of the bladder. The bladder muscle is not involved. This type of cancer is called non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, or NMIBC. Bladder cancer gets worse when it grows into or through other layers of the bladder wall. Over time, the cancer may grow outside the bladder into tissues close by or other organs of the body. This type of cancer is called muscle invasive bladder cancer, or MIBC. Bladder cancer is more common as a person grows older. It is found most often in the age group of 75 to 84. Lifestyle factors and genetics can add to your risk of developing bladder cancer. If your healthcare provider believes you may have or be at risk for bladder cancer, you may be referred to see a urologist. Your urologist will do a full medical history and physical exam. Further tests may include the following. Urine microscopy or cytology. The red and white blood cell content of your urine will be checked. This test will also check for cancer cells. Comprehensive metabolic panel, CMP, to see if your blood work is normal. X-rays, CT scan, or MRI. Retrograde pyelogram, an X-ray test with bladder inspection, cystoscopy, to evaluate your bladder, ureters, and kidneys. Cystoscopy. This very common procedure lets your doctor see inside your bladder. Your doctor will pass a tube through your urethra into your bladder. This tube has a light and camera optics so that your doctor can see more clearly. If bladder cancer is suspected based on results from these tests, the next step may be to perform a biopsy. For a biopsy, your doctor will remove a piece of bladder tissue so a pathologist can look for cancer cells with the use of a microscope. This biopsy tissue may also undergo gene alteration testing. So what is genetic testing and why is it important? We first need to understand our genes and their role in our health. Your family gives you your genes, which is the DNA that you inherit at birth and pass on through generations. They explain why a person has dark skin, blue eyes, or red hair. Your genes help determine if your body may experience important health conditions. For example, increased potential for cancers, cardiovascular conditions, diabetes, obesity, etc. Genetic testing is done to learn about a gene and its role in disease. In the cancer world, genetic or molecular testing looks for certain abnormalities a person may have inherited through his or her family that may increase their cancer risk or inform regarding the cancer aggressiveness. These tests are sometimes referred to as biomarkers and can be different depending on the type of cancer. Examples of bladder cancer biomarkers include abnormal fibroblast growth factor receptor, FGFR, homologous recombinant repair, HRR gene alterations, tumor mutational burden, TMB. The presence of these findings may allow for recently approved therapies or clinical trials. If bladder cancer biomarkers are found, your urologist can make special recommendations for treatment that will work best for your health status and type of cancer. Health insurance often covers genetic counseling and tests if they are medically needed. Check with your insurance provider to see if the treatment your doctor suggests is covered. How can genetic testing lead to better health? Bladder cancer can sometimes be hard to find and can become very serious if not caught early. Thankfully, genetic testing may help identify a risk of bladder cancer early on or even before it starts. If your doctor suggests genetic testing and your results show genetic biomarkers for bladder cancer, you may be a good fit for specific treatment. Because genetic testing can help find what treatments may be good for you, these are sometimes called precision or tailored therapy. Oral medication, aminotherapy, and chemotherapy are all examples of bladder cancer treatment. Actual testing for bladder cancer is easier than you may think. Your urologist may take a urine, blood, or biopsy sample. 
Testing of these samples will seek out mutations in your genes or look for abnormal numbers of chromosomes that would indicate the presence of DNA associated with bladder cancer. If your urologist suggests genetic testing, they may want you to see a genetic counselor if the results are positive or uncertain. It is important to talk with your doctor or urologist about your options for testing and treatment for bladder cancer. They can help you make an informed decision about the next steps in your healthcare journey. It is also important to talk to your doctor about ways you can improve your overall health. Factors in your environment and daily lifestyle habits play the biggest role in the development of bladder cancer. Here are some things that can raise your risk of getting bladder cancer. Smoking or inhaling tobacco smoke. People who smoke are two to three times more likely to get bladder cancer than people who do not smoke. Frequent workplace exposure to chemicals. If you work at a place that makes plastics, paints, leather, and rubber, you may be at risk for bladder cancer. Cancer drugs and radiation. Certain cancer drugs or radiation to the pelvis may increase your risk for getting bladder cancer. Family history of bladder cancers. If you have a family history of bladder cancer, your risk of getting bladder cancer can increase. Healthy lifestyle changes may lower the risk of bladder cancer for people who have risk due to family history. These changes can include adding workouts, quitting smoking, and keeping a healthy weight. Genetic testing is not for everyone. It's important to talk with your doctor to determine if you would be a good fit and to discuss the many treatment options available to you. The Urology Care Foundation is the official foundation of the American Urological Association. Patient resources provided by the generous support of Janssen Oncology.